Welcome to part 3 of the World Composition video series. This video will be discussing level streaming and level LODs. An issue occurs when creating level LODs on the Level Details dialog. Attempting to create LODs on more than about 200 levels at one time causes the Unreal Editor to crash. This is with Unreal Ed 4.26.2. So I create LODs in batches of 50 or 100 levels at a time. The streaming distance is the render engine distance in centimeters from the current camera that the levels will be loaded into memory and rendered visible. Any levels beyond the streaming distance are unloaded from memory and not rendered. The larger the desired view distance, then the larger the streaming distance value has to be set. For example, on a world composition of 1009 by 1009 tiles, which is 1 km per tile dimension, if you want a 2 km viewing distance, then the streaming distance has to be set to 200,000 for 2000 meters. This will always show at least 2 tiles in front of the camera. The streaming distance is set in the World Composition dialog by clicking on the plus button to create a new layer, and then adding the levels to a new streaming distance layer. The streaming distance is in centimeters, with 50,000 centimeters or 500 meters as the default. You can assign different levels to different groups so that there can be multiple streaming distances defined, although this is typically rarely used. Streaming LODs are level of detail mesh proxies that are rendered at specific distances from the camera. These proxies originally were intended to include static meshes, foliage, and landscape. However, it appears that the static mesh proxy generation no longer works, at least not in engine build 4.26.2. In my opinion, the level LOD system is a waste of time and should not be considered for use for multiple reasons. Those reasons include the following. The static mesh proxy system seems to be non-functional or deprecated. Generating LODs for the landscape sections at the default export LOD of LOD7 generates meshes with badly visible cracks on the seams. These static mesh proxies of the landscape sections will never tile correctly with the visible full levels and cracks will appear in the seams. Generating LODs with lower export LOD values such as 1 or 2 create meshes with more triangles than what the landscape's built-in LOD will provide for optimization, making LODs useless. Baking the grass into an LOD results in a spotted LOD texture that will show the grass spots out beyond the actual grass mesh cull distance. So you will see physical grass meshes close to the camera, then standard landscape textures beyond the grass cull distance, then the spotted LOD texture, which will just look bad. The default uncategorized level streaming distance is 50,000 centimeters, which is 500 meters or half of one kilometer. The default LOD1 streaming relative distance is another 10,000 centimeters, which is 100 meters more, for 600 meters total, before streaming hides the level. This is usually insufficient for an LOD streaming relative distance as it only adds 100 meters onto the world view distance before unloading. So you may have to change the LOD relative distance to a higher value such as 50,000 or 500 meters. For standard DEM style landscape worlds, I recommend creating the LOD1 proxies at 50,000 centimeters relative distance with the landscape export level of 3 or lower. This results in the base LOD0 level being streamed from 0 to 500 meters and the LOD1 stream from 500 meters to 1 kilometer. 1 kilometer is typically more than enough viewing distance for most work, plus it keeps the loaded levels to a minimum number, increasing performance. If you require a longer view distance than 1 kilometer, then you will have to adjust the LOD relative distance to a higher value than 50,000 or 500 meters such as 100,000 or 1 km, up to 500,000 or 5 km. But be aware that this will mean that more levels will be loaded at any given time and there will be the resulting pressure on performance. 
Note that if you create a set of LOD proxies, you can then change the relative distance parameter at any time and resave. You do not have to recreate all LODs again just for that parameter change. If you do change other parameters for LOD, such as landscape export LOD, then you do of course have to recreate the entire LOD since the level landscape proxy mesh must be recreated. The landscape levels are rendered into meshes at landscape LOD 0 and then decimated by the specified landscape export LOD number. The default export LOD value of 7 results in a 253 by 253 terrain component optimized to a static mesh that is only 32 triangles, compared to the full 128,018 triangles. A landscape component texture of 256 by 256 at LOD 7 is a 2 by 2 texture. So the landscape's built-in LOD system actually produces a lower triangle count than the streaming LOD system, however, at a much farther distance. Here are some landscape export LODs. A landscape export LOD higher than 3 usually results in badly deformed terrain that won't match up at the seams at all. The default value of 7 usually decimates the terrain to an unrecognizable mess. So I don't recommend creating second and third LODs unless you have taken the time to test the LOD quality. Values higher than 3 tend to decimate the terrain so badly that it is very noticeably distorted in shape causing bad visual rendering and large gaps and cracks at the level seams. However, generating LODs with lower landscape export LOD values such as 1 or 2 create meshes with more triangles than what the landscape's built-in LOD will provide for optimization, essentially making streaming LODs useless. I personally don't recommend using streaming LODs to try and optimize your maps, simply because the decimation destroys the landscape shape too excessively. You might want to instead use something like distance fog to hide the streaming level load and unload. Also keep in mind that each streaming LOD that you create will have its own flattened material for the proxy mesh. So each LOD that is created will increase the material and texture budget for what is currently loaded. If there are too many LODs loaded at one time, you may exceed the texture streaming pool. Additionally, adding streaming LODs adds more US set files to your project which can start to become large and unwieldy quite rapidly. Adding one LOD1 to a 32x32, 253x253 tile world adds 3.88 gigs of files to the project, which resulted in approximately a 2 gigabyte larger packaged build. So using LODs with larger tile counts or larger overall worlds is going to rapidly balloon up the total project distribution file size. If you are creating LODs for a large world composition, where there are 32 by 32 tiles or more, expect to wait a long time even with a high-end computer. My R9 5950X, 128 gigabytes, RTX 3080, NVMe and SSD computer system requires about an hour to create all LOD proxies for 1024 253 by 253 levels. I also have to create the LODs and sets if there are more than 256 levels or Unreal Egg crashes, even with 128 gigabytes of memory. So I end up creating the LODs and sets of 200 levels, then exiting the levels dialog to perform a save all, then on to the next level set of 200. Note that if you recreate LOD1, it will overwrite any existing LOD1 data. So if the editor crashes and you aren't sure where you got to, you can always recreate all LODs again without worrying about deleting any old LOD files. In my opinion, the landscape terrain itself does not greatly benefit from streaming LODs. So this feature should not be used unless you have a specific reason to. The built-in LOD system within the landscape actor itself typically does a better job than what the streaming LOD system offers.